and uh, actually uh, we did a cruise where Kevin Cronin from REO was a guest and uh, he finally, we, we weren't going to do it at all. In fact, we didn't even think about it because nobody was, everyone's heard it enough, the hardcores, and uh, he started doing it, so we had to do it, but that was the only reason. Uh, you didn't record or tour in the 90s. How come? Why, why'd you quit? Uh, I had, was, fell into severe depression in, in 1985 and quit the business and uh, had to go look at myself to find out what was going on and uh, went through major union therapy and it still serves me. I mean, it, uh, part of being depressed is you look in within and uh, that's what where the songs come from, basically. So there is a good side to, that's, that's the good side to depression, that the upside for me, the thing that I found is that it helps me create something uh, that, uh, unique because I look at it in a specific way and think about it so much. And there, there is, that is there in every dark thing that visits you. So the depression lasted throughout the entirety of the 90s? It's still there, baby. Yeah. Mr. D is sitting in the back. <laughs> but he's got a great song there that I just need to find. So what finally uh, flipped the switch and got you back into making music? I think writing songs, I finally got enough songs together that I thought I could go out and do a record, and I did, and it was called Karma, and uh, um, I had uh, got back into it through that, basically through music again, which which has always been my kind of my savior. There's a um, there's a song in the movie that you sing that I, I didn't know you sing. Uh, I'll make you happy, which I know as a divinal song, and they're uh, oh they did it too yeah. Yeah, oh, so it's they're actually a very old Easy Beat song. My first, my first crush uh, girlfriend. I remember dancing really close to her when that was a new single in 1966. And, and it's an Australian song. Yep. Um, you spent the first part of your life in Australia. I, I don't know if people know this. Australian bands are generally very hard rocking and and tough. Is that the kind of music that you grew up on? Well, we grew up on English music, basically. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, they're, 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 they're